Alright, so we've rendered out a new project. We've rendered out a new pipeline. We've got our project scaffolded up. It's time to make our first nodes. But before we jump into anything too crazy, let's go ahead and make some nodes with some van vanilla data structures. Um, I have a project over here. It's not actually a project. It's just a single file, first nodes.py. Um, so for example's sake, for today, we're just going to make some nodes in a single file because it takes a little bit more wiring to get into the actual project template. Uh, first thing we need to do is uh, take this import statement. We're going to, from kedro.pipeline, import node. Um, and down here, we're going to start making our first node. Um, so we're going to yank this out, go back to our script, paste it in. Um, so what is a node? A node requires a function, func. Uh, func is a any sort of callable, and um, also takes inputs or requires inputs and outputs. Uh, those can be uh, strings that point to catalog entries. They can be none. Um, they can be a list of strings that point to catalog entries, and those will get passed into this function or pulled out of uh, you know if you return multiple things. Uh, in the exact order um, as they appear in inputs and outputs. Um, that can get a little messy if you have uh, many outputs, you know, above like between three and five, I convert over to a dictionary which uh, maps um, keyword arguments over to catalog entries. So it would be um, if we had a an input here in um, we could come down here in our in our inputs we would have a dictionary and it would be in a colon entry a key and this would be a key from our catalog um, for now though we're gonna do none um, we're gonna pretend that we've got a function that's hitting an API and returning something for us um, be a little transparent. I pre-wrote just a little bit of boilerplate down here that makes us a pipeline out of uh, this node and um, has a runner and it runs it. But we don't need to worry about that today. Today we're just focused on making nodes. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and save this. Uh, open a pop-up here. We're going to run firstnodes.py. We'll see it returns a dictionary. Uh, this is actually from the runner, and the runner will return any sort of memory data sets. Um, so this is a catalog entry called range, and the data set it returned was a range from 0 to 100. Um, and close out of that. Um, I had some more examples. So what we want to do. Uh, let's do a second node, and this is kind of where the uh, we start building up our our DAG, and it takes a we'll get make range up here. It goes with create range save. Um, so square range takes in an input of range. And that range comes from our first node. So this is, uh, we're building up a DAG. We have one node that hits an API, um, brings in some data to our pipeline. Second node, we're gonna do something with it. And what we're gonna do is we're simply just gonna square it. And we're gonna output it to a catalog entry called square, uh, range squared. Um, so if I jump down in here and I pop range squared, in oh it's square range into my ad hoc pipeline um, then we can go back to our pop up and run it and we will get uh range squared and this will be squared range uh range of squared values again we have this node make range 
that created output range based on the return statement here on create range. Uh, next on, we have a node that takes in an input of that range. Catalog entries match up, and it uh, returns range squared uh, by using the function square range. Um, Pedro can also take in multiple inputs. Um, and here, like I said, those are simply just uh, catalog entries or uh, a list of strings that are catalog entries. Oh, so what we might want to do is concatenate these two things together. Uh, so we can uh, yank this. We can go back. Uh, have not tested this, so we'll see if it works. Uh, save it. Uh, we have a syntax error, comma. Okay, I think we are good. Um, so we can go uh, down to the bottom and we can add some cat. Oh, 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 square range, square range is a. Uh, we we kind of made a mistake before. We'll call it wrong. Something. Uh, here we'll call this code. Concat ranges. Concat. Okay. Maybe maybe we'll do this. We're kind of doing this at, on the fly today. We'll call it square. Um, okay. And then that'll make it happy. Um, concat ranges. So now we need to jump down to the bottom and concat and cat ranges. Okay, uh, apparently we're recording a macro. So let's go back up here and we are going to open up our pop up, clear, uh, rerun. Now we should see. Uh, first note, returns catalog entry of concat. Notice that runner is only returning uh, edge nodes out of our DAG. Um, now we'll see 0, 1, 2, 3, all the way up to 100 somewhere in here. Here's a um, 98. Okay, it'll go to 99, and then it'll, it'll go to our squared range, 0, 1, uh, 4, 9, 16, 25. That's what we expect. So that's how you would uh, pass multiple inputs into a function. Um, they can also be defined as a dict. Like I said, I, I prefer uh, dictionaries when those uh, when we get more and more uh, catalog or uh, inputs here. Uh, once it gets past five, it's like super unwieldy. Makes it really hard to uh, refactor. So if you want to add something in the third position, you got to make sure you're just in the right spot. Um, maybe you made a change to the function. One of your nodes, you have two nodes that use this function. Uh, it gets pretty un unwieldy. Again, we're missing the comma. Uh, output concat. Uh, that looks good. So we can comment that one out. We can run it. It should uh, it should return the same thing. We'll clear, run, and we get the same thing as we did before. Um, but we mapped them with a dictionary instead of a list. Um, so we're matching we're mapping range to range and then uh, range to to squared. Uh, so notice that um, this was kind of purposeful. Uh, so the second one doesn't match our catalog entry. So this range two um, is the keyword argument here in the key of our dictionary. Range squared is the key of the catalog in the values of the dictionary. That's all I've got here for uh, for this uh, first nodes in Kedro. Um, 